Happy Saturday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. This is just going to be quickie tonight because I almost forgot. How many guys ever hear about it? You're going to get a quickie. Yeah. Anyway, so I got up this morning. I originally planned I was going to go to the the Aqua Zumba class because I didn't want to wake up in time to go to the Aqua Extreme. Um, Because I could have slept in an hour and a half if I went to the Aqua Zumba. Even though Aqua Zumba is not necessarily my cup of tea just because I'm pathologically clumsy. Like, I trip over painted lines and shadows and invisible things, you know. Um, actually, I have a neurological issue. I got several issues, but I there's this thing called proprioception. Where you can tell your body in relationship to, like, space and things around you. Yeah, mine's jacked up. I, this has, I will run in, I run into door jams and bump off walls. And if you watch me on a treadmill, I'm ping-ponging back and forth, um, or I pinball, back and forth, um, between the, like, guardrails, whatever, the arms of it. Just because I can't walk in a straight line. And, yeah, I will never pass the field sobriety test sober. Um, that I can pass it drunk either. But, yeah, if you make me stand on one leg and close my eyes, I immediately fall over. That's just, that's actually called a positive Romberg sign. So, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I'm just clumsy. So, I'm not much into Zumba. I, like I said, I've tried it once. It was a horrible, colossal failure. But anyway, long story short, because, you know, I woke up early enough to go to water or aqua extreme, which is just hit high intensity interval training. And it was actually it was quite fun. I wasn't the, I don't think I was the youngest person there. Um, and there were three other guys there, two others that, you know, were in my age range. One, I think was a little bit younger than me. And the other one was, my age or maybe a little bit older. And there were some younger girls, like maybe in their early 20s, and some middle-aged and some definitely geriatric, but it was good. And the person that led it, um, she was good, high energy. She kept us going. You know, in a pool, it's, you know, with music going, sometimes it's hard to hear the person talking, but she was able to manage, you know, do we all heard, you know, what we needed to do, and apparently it was the very first time that they've actually, that that gym's had the, the Aqua Zoom, I guess they've, it's a new gym, they converted a grocery store into a gym, so it's a huge gym, I mean, we're like, it's big, and, um, they, I mean, they've got all kinds of things, they've got an area, one area that's with the TRX, it's just for the trainers, and then they've got a decent, you know, treadmill cardio area, and they've got machine weights, they've got free weights, they've got an area where you um, do, like, the dynamics of, like, sled pushes and other little weird things where you've got to move up and down um, instead of just staying in spot in one place. So, I mean, it's big. And they have a swimming pool and a whirlpool and a sauna and a steam room. And... The, um, what do you call it? The changing rooms are decent size with the showers. And thankfully they have that neat little spinning thing that you put your clothes in after you go swimming and it spins them for you. And so you don't have to go home with sopping wet clothes. So that was nice. Um, and that didn't even count all the, the different rooms they have for like the, the studio, like the, the classes, like the, the spin classes and the, um, body pump and all the other different things that they have. Um, so I, I was really tickled with the, um, the class, but it it was the first one because they had converted the gym and then I guess they had filled the pool up. There was something wrong with it. They had to drain it, fix it and refill it. And so today's class was the first, um, first class that they had. Oh, and they have a basketball court as well. We're talking about like this gym is big. 
So, and for what the price you pay, you're getting a lot for the price you pay. So, not even counting the, the insurance fitness program. Just if you pay, even paying the full price for like the the highest tier, you're still getting a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's, you're getting your money's worth there. Um, so anyway, so I did that and then went and checked my mail and then, um, cause David and them, their plane gets in at 945, which means it's probably going to be, um, close to 1030 before they get out of the, you know, off the plane, get their luggage, get out of the airport, you know, and then get here. And so he said, unless I just desperately want to be home tonight. Then we'll just, they'll just take me home in the morning. I'm like, that's fine. And, you know, I'll just, you know, they'll probably sleep in. So when I get up in the morning, I'll go to the gym. And because it's Sunday, so that's not a therapy day. And I'll get up and I'll go to the gym. And then come back. And then by the time I'm done at the gym and whatnot, they'll be up and, you know, closer to moving around. Oh, hang on just a second. Sorry about that. So anyway, um, I'll go to the gym and whatnot. Come back, and then they'll be up moving around and ready to take me back at that point. So Now, I was working on that pavilion pattern on knitting the washcloth, and I dropped a stitch, and it was the end stitch. And if there's a way to catch an end stitch when it's dropped a couple rows, I don't know how. And, I mean, like, if I catch it right off the bat, Little Miss, Little Miss has learned bad behaviors over here. There she is. Bad behavior isn't being on the couch. Bad behavior is scratching the couch. David's got a cat that scratches. Um, but anyway, so I dropped a stitch, and it was a couple rows down before I caught it, and it was on. The, it was like the very first one of a row. So I didn't know. How to, I don't know how to get that. So I was like, forget it, whatever. I and now Max is up here because I have my dinner right there, and Max smells food, so he wants to come over here. So anyway, so I ripped this out. I started to crochet with it, and I'm the hook that I need. I've got a couple sizes smaller than the, the hook that I need, and a couple sizes bigger, but I don't have the size that I need. So it's too small, it makes it super tight, and and too big, it was just too loose, and I couldn't. It just looked icky. So I thought I said five. So I'm just doing the basic. You know, the first five rows are garter stitch, and then I'm switching it, sticking to. And um, stocking that, and I'm just making um, cleaning rags for my house. Not cleaning rags, but that's basically what they are. Um, so anyway, I'm just chilling out, watching YouTube tonight, waiting for David and Chuck to get home. Um, Chuck had asked me to decorate the Christmas tree for him, um, and he had just said, "Here's some pink and you know red paper. Can you cut out and make those paper chains?" I'm like, okay, I could have done that. He's got a paper cutter. You know, I could have done it. It would have looked decent. But it would have wasted that. And so what I did instead, and you can't zoom in on this camera. Hang on just a second. Let me flip it around and show you. Just one second. See, there it is. See, you zoom in. That's one of those little, it's a heart-shaped pillow, although right now it looks like boxing gloves. Sequins on, you know, you rub them one way, they're red. You rub them another way, they're gold colored. The pink, not the sparkly, but the cloth is actually two. They were like infinity scarves, whatnot. But I just got them and cut the cut them in one piece so that it's one long piece. So I can spin it around. Then there's some sparkly tinsel and some little monkeys. So there is their tree, and that it won't focus on is their wedding announcement, wedding anniversary, or um, the invitation to their wedding. So I got a frame and put it in the frame, and I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to see how long it takes them to notice that. So anyway, I'm going to eat my dinner before it gets cold, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.